Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Star Stable. I am here beside Tatiana Stormheart because we have to continue unlocking Epona. I'm kind of like in the middle and I'm in a weird place because I signed on and I wanted to do the lantern event and I'm too scared to leave because I don't know how I would actually get back to this point. So we're going to do this before we go do the lantern event. And I'm also working on a tag video for five favorite Star Stable outfits, which I also cannot do until I finish whatever this little section is. Then I can figure out where I am and how to get to and fro because I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure, but I'm sure Tatiana will help us and we'll get to look at the lanterns at some point. <laughs> Hello, Tatiana. How are you doing? Also, I want to be on a Yorvik Wild Horse. The Yorvik Wild Horses are back this week and Tim Hooper is here. I could buy more uh, beach stuff. Oh, man, we need to do this. We need to do this, Tatiana. Quick, you'll have to tell everything to my dad, Harold Stormheart. Hurry now, he's Herman's oldest friend. My name's Tatiana, by the way. I hope we can talk more later, but now you've really got to run. Quick, go! Oh, I'm sorry, I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying. There must be a trailer or something here. Cause I think all the gates are still locked, so we can't go over to the Harvest Counties. Who are you? Are you from GED? Herman's been captured by the GED? Oh, good gracious, no, this is bad. Herman in GED's custody? This is terrible. If we're lucky, they'll have reported him to the police for trespassing, but I'm not so sure. They know Herman wants them out of the Harvest Counties, and I think they might take this opportunity to make sure he won't be able to work against them anymore. <sighs> I don't know what I can do to get him free, but wait. What were you doing on GED's land anyway? Herman was on his way to meet Mrs. X. I've heard a fair amount about her, but I've stayed out of the fight between her and GED. But if there's anyone who can save Herman from the clutches of GED, it's Mrs. X. I'm going to do everything I can to help you find her. First, though, I've kept myself locked in here on this land for long enough. I locked my gates so that GED wouldn't be able to get onto my land, but they just went right ahead and built up their enterprise up on the mountain instead. It doesn't matter how much I try to hide, GED just do whatever they want anyway. Now they've crossed the line. Kidnapping Herman? They've really crossed the line. GED have to be stopped. I'm going to need all the help I can get. There's no point staying hidden away in here anymore, and if someone from Jarlheim wants to come and help, well then they are welcome. Cadence, go at once and unlock the gate on the road between my land and Jarlheim. The code is 1234. Good, I'm, I'm glad you kept the standard that comes with the lock. That's real safe. Come back to me once it's done, and we can think about how I can help you out. Phew. At least it didn't take too long to unlock the gate. Which one are we unlocking? This way, right? There we go. One, two, three, four. Probably one of the worst passwords you could pick for anything. Now the road between Storm Garden and Yarlaheim is open. Ride back to Harold Stormheart and give him the news. Alright. You've unlocked the gate? Good. Now people can travel from here to Yarlaheim whenever they want. I wish I had some wonderful idea about how you could save Herman from GED, but I can't think of anything right now. I'll think and think until my head aches, but I can't make any promises. Mrs. X has the best chance of saving Herman. Unfortunately, I've got no idea of how you'd get a hold of her. I don't know much of anything about her, to be honest, only that she's incredibly brave, intelligent, and the leader of Chill. Chill are incredibly secretive, so getting in touch with their leader is no small task. There's one person who might know, Pamela Moon River. She lives in Crescent Moon Village, down by the Full Moon River, the river running to the south. She's openly associated with Chill, which makes her a brave woman if I ever knew one. If you let her know what's going on, then maybe she can help you. My daughter Tatiana is good friends with Pamela, so she'll be able to help you get in touch with her. Talk to Tatiana. Hi again, Cadence. Was my dad able to help save Herman? No. Oh, that's not good. Let me know if there's anything I can do. You need to get in touch with Pamela Moon River. I know her. I can help. But if you want to get to Crescent Moon Village, you'll need to unlock the gate here by me first. There is a combination lock on the gate, and I can't remember the code for the life of me. The gate is exactly the same as the one on the road to Jarlheim, but the code... Nope. It's 
been so long since anyone wanted to open it. Hmm. I'm sure I had a really good system for remembering the code. Hang on, how did it go? Yes, there are four numbers in the code, and the numbers in the code are the same as the number of legs on different animals. The animals were a bear, a horse, a human, and an ant. Why didn't you just remember the numbers? Do you understand? You look unsure, but you'll get a cadence. Come back if you need more help. Good luck in Crescent Moon Village. Ugh, okay. So, four, four, two, six? Four, four, two, six? Nice. The gate opens and the road to Crescent Moon Village is open. The road ahead of you leads to Crescent Moon Village. That's where Pamela Moon River lives, so she can help you find Mrs. X. Oh wait, Tatiana still has a quest here. If you want, you can unlock the gate down towards the sea and the one right by In Ingun Ingun's, Ingun's cliffs. The code there was... Uh, what on earth was it again? Of course. It was just the same system as the code for the gate for Crescent Moon Village, just with different animals. For this gate, you'll have to think of how many legs these animals have. A spider, snake, lion, and dog. Eight, zero, four, four. Eight, zero, four, four. Okay. Excellent. Click. The gate opens. Ah! Everyone, come on in! Vacation in Epona! What? You have one more gate to unlock, I believe, Tatiana? There's a locked gate down on the road that leads towards Shipwreck Shores. You can unlock that one too if you've got time. The code works in the same way as the others, so there are more animals for you to figure out. Are you ready? Beetle, ostrich, fly, cheetah. Beetle? Six, I think it's six. Ostrich, two, fly, four or six? Oh no. And a cheetah is four. Six, two, four, four? Six, two, six, four? Six, two, four, four? No! <laughs> six, two. Six, four. Oh, six, two, six, four. So flies have six legs. Who knew? Click. The gate opens. Ta-da! We are in Epona. Officially in Epona. This is so cool. And we have made it to Crescent Moon Village. We need to look for Pamela Moon River. This way. Hello, everyone! We are here! Finally! Finally in Crescent Moon Village. It only took ages. Where is she? Oh, she's over that way. Hooray! Oh, hello! Oh, there's a wall! I'm so sorry. I'm just too excited. Pamela! Hello! Hello there, welcome to Crescent Moon Village. I'm Pamela Moon River. It's not often we get to see a new face around here. Who are you? Especially not because that other guy blocked you off from the rest of the world. I hope you don't mind me asking, but who are you? Cadence, lovely to meet you. Harold and Tatiana Stormheart said I could help you find Mrs. X. Why are you so interested in her, might I ask? Your friend Herman has been captured by GED, you say? Hmm. I've heard of Herman. Seems like a good chap. Do you know what? I promise to take these sacks up to the mill. If you could help me with the last of them, I'll have a think about how I might be able to help. Help Pamela carry sacks to the mill. Did she give them to us? Oh, that windmill sound. It followed me around for days one time recently. If I never hear it again, I'll be super happy. <gasps> there they are. <laughs> That was not real apparent. You can only manage one at a time. Thanks for helping. You seem like a decent person, and if Harold and Tatiana trust you, then I'm sure I'll be able to as well. First, some advice. 
Be very careful talking about Mrs. X and chill around these parts. You never know who might be listening. I'll ask around. Perhaps I know someone who knows where to find Mrs. X. I hope you don't mind me saying, but I'll also ask around a little bit about you, Cadence. Just to see if I can find out a little more about you. Safety first, you know. That said, it's going to take me a little while to get in touch with my contacts. Come back tomorrow and I'll let you know how I've been getting on. Oh, thank you so much! Look at that jacket, it's beautiful! And that jacket is beautiful! Uh, that top is beautiful. Oh man, there's so many cool clothes here. Ooh. Ooh, that's really fun. Wow, the tack here is beautiful. There's also some horses for sale over here. Hello, friends. Hello. They're all so cool. And you know who's here? Our flea, bl flea bitten gray English thoroughbred. What? Ah. Uh, I cannot wait to get you. We're not going to do it just yet. Not just yet. But we will be bringing them home. Look at this guy, too. Ah, oh, he's so handsome. But now we have a lantern event to be getting to. We're here at the beach now to enjoy some summer fun. We have a lantern event to partake in and Tim Hooper's beach party association type thing. I don't even know. But it means we get to break out our Tim Hooper hat and goggles. One of my favorite items in the game. I believe we also got this shirt during a summer event one year. I don't have any matching gloves. I'm sorry. I don't have any pink or blue gloves. But we have the shoes from the stall here, but we cannot get the tack yet because I don't have enough reputation. But we will work on it. And we also have to learn about this lantern event. I am so, so excited. Hello. Who are you, Kylie Summer Breeze? Hello there. You're wondering what kind of lanterns are hanging behind me? How cool that you're interested in them. I sell beautiful Chinese lanterns in every color imaginable. For many years, creating Chinese lanterns has been a hobby of mine. But now I plan to open this store to sell them. I just need to attract some customers. You want to help me find customers? Of course you can. I was just about to go send a Chinese lantern up into the sky, but you're very welcome to do it with me. I, I think that will attract some more customers. In order to release it, take this lantern and go find a similar lantern hanging. The lanterns are never happier than when they are in heaven, after all. Oh, well, I mean, it is an inanimate object, but okay. So we'll find the yellow launcher to put the yellow lantern in. Lighting the lantern. <gasps> Yay! That's so cool. Oh, and it slowly drifts off. Oh man, we're gonna have to get a whole bunch to fill up the sky. Thanks so much, Cadence. It looks so pretty when they fly off like that. I bet we caught everyone's attention. Take this Chinese lantern as a thank you. Oh, you are welcome. Oh, and they're only 18 Yorvik shillings. Let's go fill up the sky. And bread. Ooh. Nice. Let's do some more. That is going to look so cool at nighttime. I hope I get to check it out. The lanterns are here until August 2nd. So there is some time to to get it situated to get online at nighttime. I know it takes a long time before it gets dark. But I also want to work with Tim Hooper today. We've done Tim Hooper's quests a number of times. So we might not read through them all. But I do want to work on it so I can get some of the gear. Alright guys, I'm going to wrap it up here. Uh, I honestly don't know how long this video has gone. I have stopped to talk to a lot of people here at the beach. It's very busy. So 
uh, I'm, you know, I might capture some footage. Maybe I'll see if everyone wants to uh, put out some lanterns and we could do that. Um, but I'll probably stop and talk to everyone. So I'll wrap the video up here and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Okay, so I had to show this year's t-shirt. It is a polka dot beach top. Uh, still, I think I like the one I'm wearing and the mermaid one. I think we got the mermaid one last year. Those I like more, but this is kind of fun. It's still blue, so I still really like it. As far as reputation with the beach people, we are liked. So I can get some of the equipment, but not all of it. I'll have to keep working on daily stuff with Tim Hooper. We can get one of the saddle pads. Uh, no saddle yet. We have to be admired. Oh gosh, and popular. Oh, we get both of the bridles and, oh, both of the leg bandages. Okay, cool. So we're just down some saddles. Oh, and a beach blanket, uh, a saddle pad. Well, we are almost there. We have most of the pink stuff, some of the black stuff, and a new blue hat. Yay! It matches our sneakers. I really like the beach stuff, so that's awesome. Yay! Rockbeam loves it too. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!